ever alive, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Star Citizen. Tonight we're streaming on YouTube because uh, Twitch has been pissing me off. So here we go. Welcome everyone. Hope you're doing great. We will see how this goes. I'm expecting some technical issues, uh, but I think I covered most of the setup that I could possibly cover. I don't know if the bots work. Stream Elements tells me that the bots are supposed to work. I don't know if they actually work. I'm going to test that out later on, but I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. Today, we're actually celebrating a little bit. Uh, we reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, so thank you all. And yeah, I, I figure let's get right to it. Uh, so we're going to be playing the 315 PTU right now. I was hoping for a build last night because they had some uh, bugs going on, but uh, unfortunately, last night's build failed review, so it didn't get, uh, didn't get published into the PTU. I think they I think they announced that they're gonna try again today. Hopefully they fix the issues that they have because obviously they run some tests before they push the build as uh, you know as most software developers do before they uh, publish a live build. Anyway, 315 PTO, let's get right to it. So how is everybody doing? Also let me know if, if everything is running. Let me uh, get the music on. Obviously. We we gotta go we can't go without music, obviously. It should be music. Sweet. Alright, let's go. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great, uh... Okay, it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, I have, I, I, as you can tell, I haven't been out of the house in a couple of days. So I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, let's get right to it. Hopefully, uh... And I was playing last night a little bit. Hey, Blake, how are you doing? So, I, so it was, uh... It probably still is Tuesday, uh... Let me, let me double check that. Oh, my phone says it's Tuesday, so, uh, so we're probably good. Yeah, so, so I haven't been out of the house since Saturday, so, so yeah, unfortunately, that's still Tuesday. Then again, Wednesday, I actually have to go places, so I'm actually kind of happy it's still Tuesday. So I was actually playing the 315 PTO last night. It was pretty stable. I actually didn't have any 30Ks, any crashes, any, any, any of that stuff. So I think it's pretty good. They still do, however, have some uh, pretty important bugs. I think they had the claiming bug. Uh, but I, I heard that that was fixed. Also, there's a bit of reputation stuff going on right now. Uh, but overall, uh, it is definitely a... And there's a dead pixel on my monitor. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so I think we're definitely nearing the 315 Live candidate. I think we're probably going to see 315 Live either on Friday or early next week. Uh, CIG have been working pretty hard. I think we had a... Freakers, yes, it has been tested and has been proven. I had, uh, I think after they deployed it last week, I tried it, and it is it is very capable. It is actually too capable. It is, uh, it is actually so good it's exploitable, which I think is a bit of a problem. Like, you can actually induce a client disconnect, which is going to force the recovery system. And that could actually potentially be exploited as, okay, I have loaded my ship full of cargo. I'm going to induce a client disconnect that's going to teleport my ship back, teleport my ship and myself back to station safely. I'm just going to log back in, sell my stuff. Could be exploit. I think CIG actually mentioned this on Spectrum that it's a possible exploit, uh, but I think they're probably working on going around that because I think they can actually differentiate on the back end between a client induced disconnect versus a server crash disconnect since they have the heartbeat or watchdog or whatever you want to call it all right so i am at evers and i figure we're just gonna get in on some uh some random missions i have been doing uh i've been doing some bounties yesterday uh they're a little sluggish right now but uh, i kind of i'm kind of putting that down to like ptu performance uh, so I think I'm gonna try something else today, and I, you know I have done like eight million credits worth of bounties in 314, so I'm I'm, I'm good. But the thing that kind of concerns me right now is uh, that 315 zero is right now I think two or three weeks late. Correct me if I'm wrong, sir. Sir, are you okay? Sir, should I should I gently push you into the into the infirmary, sir? Can I push you to the, into the hospital, please? <laughs> anyway, so so I think we're two or three weeks late for uh, 315 Live right now. And we are like three weeks away. They did miss how... That is true. Oh yeah, it was. So, I... Oh, Freakers! 
I'm already giving them like three to four weeks of, of like head start basically. <laughs> like I forgive them, you know, the the math. Good evening, sir. And uh, thank you. It's been a uh, I'm not gonna lie, that subscriber count has been giving me some serious anxiety over the last week. Because I was at like 990, it was like not going up. <laughs> anyway, how, how are you all doing? So yeah, so I so I kind of give them your figures, I kind of give them four weeks. Because basically they did have a PTU patch going, it was just for Iwakati though. So I kind of counted from Iwakati. Anyway. So we have the IAE in... Three weeks right now, two and a half weeks, something like that. And the IAE is usually in the 3.15.1, or, well, is in the next minor patch of the Q3 patch. So at this point, we should be seeing a 3.15.1 PTU, but we're not. So... Are they gonna make it on time with the IAE? Because as far as I know, the IAE assets are mostly not in-game yet. I, I would probably know since I look at the game files quite often <laughs> for the armory and such. Anyway, let's uh, let's pick up a mission here. So they, I think they have uh, removed my favorite investigation missions, which kind of sucks because I don't want to go into caves because caves suck. Let's see, retrieval needed. Extracts astatine from Starfire's debris and delivered to Hurl Four. Eh. Okay, I could I could do that. It's not not such a bad. Thing. When does the video come from the missile? So, that photo shoot is for the ADI main cinematic for this year. During that photo shoot, we shot the first two scenes out of 10 scenes. So, I think I'm gonna make it by the end of the year where I'm gonna have everything shot. I'm still waiting on music and I'm still waiting on a couple other things that need to, be ha need to happen with that. Uh, but I, I very much think it's it's gonna come out in January. Like that that is my goal. That is when I'm hoping I'm gonna have it done. Whether I'm actually gonna manage that really depends on the photo shoot. Because we do have four photo shoots left in this year. We're gonna have one on Sunday, then we have one two weeks after that, and then we have two in December. So that that really depends on how that's all gonna go. So let's uh, let's actually go pick this up and actually uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's take the 400 eye out. So so the math. Thank you for asking, uh, but this is this is for a full cinematic, which usually takes me a while to make. And actually, I'm going to be, since S10 now has a second assistant director for media production, I'm actually going to be training him as well. And I'm actually going to be training both of my assistant directors right now to eventually take over photo shoots for me, so I can focus on kind of bigger, bigger things for S10. Anyway, I should have customized the 400i a little bit. Glad, glad to hear that. It's it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be awesome. I I I, I have full faith that I can actually get it to where where I want it. Right, so we need to find a starfarer that's crashed somewhere and pick up a box from there. Okay, that's fair enough. So I'm actually looking at the YouTube stream dashboard and it looks so much better than Twitch. Like, so basically what I'm seeing is I got what's currently happening and then I have kind of like I would say which path was I on path 5? I would say 2-3 minutes back live analytics going going, which are telling me how many people are watching, how many people looked at this uh, and it actually tells, even tells me uh, for how long people have been watching, which is pretty cool. So ultimately what's actually so actually the reason I've uh, moved from streaming on Twitch to streaming on YouTube is A, I didn't want to have kind of a split portfolio of platforms where I'm kind of maintaining a YouTube channel while also streaming on Twitch. I just kind of felt like too many things going on at once for me. And at the same time, uh, the YouTube channel has been growing much better than the Twitch channel, which is readily apparent if, if you look at the two. Uh, and more importantly, Twitch, uh, not Twitch, YouTube stream count toward your uh, watch hours. Why are watch hours important? So to become a YouTube partner, or in other words, to be able to monetize your videos, you need to meet two requirements. You need to have a thousand subscribers, which we do now. And more importantly, you need 4,000 watch hours on your channel. And we currently have about 
2,500. Actually, let me pick up a weapon in case there, in case it's a ground starfarer, and I and I need to fight my way in, because there sometimes are uh, NPCs down there. I'm actually gonna take the custodian because uh, it has the most ammo, and I forgot to buy ammo. Can I not equip it? That kind of sucks. All right. That worked. And size one suppressor. I think I also want a flashlight in case my helmet flashlight bugs out, which they have been doing recently. Actually, I could take a gland because it has 60 rounds versus the custodian's 50 rounds and it packs a bigger punch. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, so I probably still want the same sight if I happen to have another one, which I do. I don't think I have another suppressor for it, so that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the math is going to be very interesting to see what's, what's going to be happening with items. I, I think we're going to see pretty much everybody changing their loadouts. Because now we actually have to optimize for a lot more things. Did they actually put on the... Okay. Now we're actually going to have to optimize for a lot more things. Obviously I have no, no ammo because ammo doesn't persist for some reason. Because why would ammo persist? Because suddenly you don't only just... You don't only just think about... How, many, how much stuff you need to take, like, you know, how many weapons you need, how many med pens, that kind of stuff, but you also need to think about, can I actually carry all this stuff? And do I actually want a backpack to carry all of it in? And, that, and all that stuff. Which is why you guys should be using armory. <laughs> because the armory is going to tell you all of that. Alright. Let's go uh, while my ship warms up. Let's make sure we are... Uh... So we're going to... Ita, and it's a orbital wreck, so it's not gonna have any hostiles in it, but it might have some hostiles around it. It might have some pirates going around it, so we'll see how that goes. I think the Fort Hunter is actually not a terrible combat ship, but uh, you definitely want to have the turrets manned if you can. And you know, actually, while I have a bunch of guys, a bunch of you guys here, I wonder your thoughts on the 400i because I, I already put out a video on it. And uh, it was a very positive review, which is actually interesting. It was because it was my first positive, like positively positive review of a ship since the MSR. Because I, I recall I was kind of neutral on the Taurus, and I was very negative towards the Rock DS. So, but yeah, the the four hundred I is uh, definitely a very nice ship. I actually picked one up since I actually managed to get. Uh, a commercial that I made into the Citizen Con. Oh, so I actually managed to get the reward out of that, which was uh, Nova Tank. But I, I don't really do tanks, so. Uh... Would you. I agree? I, I actually. I would have agreed with you. When it came out, I would have agreed with you on that one. I, I didn't like the idea of it. I. I so. Here's one thing that I actually still don't like about the 400 app. It was marketed wrong, which gave pretty much everybody the wrong impression because CH was like, oh, it's a origin constellation. But it's not. If it was an origin constellation, it would have a lot more cargo space. It would be, you know, slightly less crew focused and it would definitely fit a full size rover or it would at least fit the origin rover, which the 400 I doesn't. So, uh, so what it actually is, rather than a constellation competitor, is actually kind of a. I, I kind of like to see it as a step up from a Cuddy Black, but not quite a constellation. Like, okay, it's you got three crew, you got two tours, you got a lot of guns, you got some missiles, you got a little bit of cargo space, you can carry a cyclone or I think a rock will also fit. But at the same time, you don't really have, you know more than 80 SEO of cargo, you also don't have a snub fighter, you also 
don't have all these things, but you still got that, you know, size, size three shield and that kind of stuff. So it kind of, for me, it kind of sits between a cutty black and a, and a constellation. And obviously it's origin, so it just looks pretty. And I have a feeling that this crack, oh, there's no, it's actually there, perfect. Now, I gotta get in there. There it is, you see that blob? Yeah, Mitchell, I, I agree. Uh, so I picked it up, kind of through a... I ended up picking a one up. Uh, but I kind of did it through... some CCU and melting magic. Because basically I had the Nova tank from CIG for having a commercial and citizen con. So I actually CCU'd that by melting my Cutty Black and a couple skins that I had. Just random skins that I was just kind of keeping for a store card, really. And I used that store card to buy a CCU from a tank to a 400i and then the Citizen Con skin. And it basically came down with me only having to pay like $2 of my own money, something like that. So it actually came out pretty well. But I agree with you, uh, fighting game. For me, it was just kind of like, okay, it kind of fits my gameplay style a little bit better and it's a pretty nice ship, so why not? All right, now I'm actually going to get to use the docking color. I'm kind of sad to, use, to lose the Cutty Black, though. Uh, but it's pretty cheap in game, so I think I'm just going to pick it up in game later. It's it's not that big of a deal. And... Yeah, oh, through here. Oh, do I actually have to... Oh. Ah, I see what's going on. I'm an idiot. Bear with me. There we go. Oh, that's cool. It's gonna open now, though. Oh, so when I open it the first time, it opens. Okay, I see. I've actually not used the airlock on the 400 i yet. That's a bear with me. It's actually a pretty, pretty good ship. I, I like what they did with it. Uh, a nice little kind of medium-sized explorer. Definitely more comfortable than the Connie for exploring. Come on, at least you have like a decent crew quarters. You do have one less crew, and you can't take a rover along, which. It could be a deal breaker for some. It, it will fit a cyclone. Kind of the thing that doesn't really make sense to me is that it's not big enough to fit, fit the G12 rover, Origin's own rover, which just feels kind of stupid. But uh, hey, oh, the big door was open the whole time. That's fine. So that is really kind of my only thing against the 400i, where it does have you know a separate elevator for the hover bike. But it won't fit the origin rover. Kind of just doesn't make sense to me, really. Other than that, you know, it's a, it's a pretty nice ship. Yeah. No, so that's screen reset. Right, let's say. Uh... Actually, I'm not gonna put this in the cargo bay. I'm just gonna put this in like this compartment. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put it here. It's not gonna be secure, but it's not gonna move anywhere. Oop. Too far but it's not gonna move anywhere so that was actually so what you could do since there's kind of the cool thing with uh, these compartments for components so look at my temperature down there it actually goes down so these are actually cooled so what you could do when you're kind of on a long journey i would just like dump boxes of food in there like i'm probably not gonna go mess with my components that often so i can just like stack a couple boxes of food in there and it's gonna be fine it's gonna be it's basically a fridge so <laughs> Nice. So let's uh, let's deliver this. So we have a box of astatine. So I, I did try it out uh, in combat for a little bit. Uh, just did a couple bounties. Uh, lying solo, it's it's not great for combat, obviously, because obviously it's a, it's a multi crew ship. Uh, but if you have turret gunners and if you are, you know, set up for combat, it can run, it can fight back a little bit, but uh, your strategy for the most part is going to be running. Like, you're going to be trying to run away with this ship. It's it's not a combat ship by by any means. Like, if you, if you get attacked by one or two fighters, you can kind of go on, uh, go on and counterattack. Uh, but if you're going to be, like, 
four or five fighters or, or a gunship, you're probably gonna want to run away. Yeah, it, you definitely need the turrets, and you can actually see, I mean, the turrets are positioned in the back. So this ship is meant to defend itself. It's not meant to attack anything. If it was meant to attack anything, the turrets would be kind of on the midline, basically. The, the, the one thing that I kind of don't like about the turrets is that they don't retract, like, on the, on the 600i. That would that would be kind of nice, but uh, it's not like it's not a deal breaker for me. But yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely a defend yourself ship rather than an attack ship. Like the size three shield is great, but uh, it does have a lot of health. But if it actually goes down, it's gonna take a long time for it to come back up. Is there a space cover in action? Yes, it is. I'm always in action. Well, not really. I I sleep. Like four hours a day. That's when I'm not in action. I actually don't really swap components on this thing. So I actually, CIG actually reshuffled doors quite a lot in 3.15. And it's, and it's really exciting because I was really getting used to knowing where to find things. Now I actually have to go look where I where I can find something. Which is uh, kind of a refreshing refreshing change for me. Anyway, so yeah, they, so they have reshuffled armors, they have reshuffled weapons, they have reshuffled components. Always. Always. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so, the, so they have actually made it a little more difficult to assemble gear, and I think that's... I think they're really trying to, like, make people test out the inventory system and trying to, like, fly gear back and forth, because uh, you really have to fly, like, where you could... Right now, I'm actually finding the best starting zone is Area 18 because you have weapons, armor, and components in one place. And you can actually get like decent sets of armor and everything in there and decent amount of components. But unless they fix the very critical bug with vehicle spawning, that's not really going to happen for anybody. So it's going to be Laurel and New Babbage for everyone. And normally, I would pick New Babbage out of the two. Uh, because it has the Omega Pro component shop. Sorry. Which, uh... What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Which, uh... Used to have the most components you could buy anywhere else. Uh, but right now it looks like it's actually gonna be... Orison that has the most components because it actually has... I think it actually has two shops to sell components now. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's not... It's not... It's critical. I would say it's a critical issue. Like, if, if I was working for CIG, I would not release the patch with that bug. Uh, but at the same time, if it's a fix that would... require... a lot of fixing, which it, this probably is. Because it it's pretty much adding an exception to the entire system. Like, what's gonna happen? Because normally... Because all your ships and all your vehicles get stored at your primary location when you first log in. But if you can't do that, then where do they go? Like, you're probably gonna have to claim them anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's like it's not game-breaking, but it's critical. Do I think they're gonna fix it? Probably not. But I would like to see them fix it. Uh, but, you know, rather than... Uh, Yeah, I, I agree with that suspicion, actually. You would probably need the... Uh, yeah, you would probably need something like that. I, I think... I think it's a bug that might actually remain until we have the hangar app. Where we can actually, like, spawn snubs and spawn vehicles into our ships. I think we're gonna, we're gonna see it until, you know. I don't think it's gonna get fixed before that. But, more importantly, if you actually looked at uh, Orison hangars recently... The, it looks like uh, it actually has like spaces for spawning vehicles and that kind of stuff, especially the bigger ones. So I think it might be kind of a small scale preparation for what's to come. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I am very very excited for persistent hangers, for the hangar app and everything. It's I think it's gonna be a very exciting twelve months for Star Citizen. Kind of one thing that concerns me, actually two things that concern me, and I'm kind of go back. Going to back to CitizenCon because I actually haven't talked about CitizenCon anywhere yet. Well, okay, I spoke briefly about CitizenCon on the Info Runners, but uh, I have two concerns after CitizenCon. 
Yeah, it's it's very subtle. It only really shows in the bigger hangers. There's like spaces. They actually have like a. I think one of the hangers is kind of a, a hollow table going on, and it has like tables around it and, and stuff. So it looks like kind of a prep area for a mission. It looks very cool. So yeah, definitely go check it out. I don't know if all of them have it, but I've been to like two or three of them and they had it. Either kind of a vehicle area or cargo area or you know that kind of thing. So the hangers are def definitely evolving. Uh, but what, what I was talking about is two concerns about CitizenCon. Number one, server meshing. As, as a developer, uh, the server meshing panel very lacking and left me with a lot of questions. More questions than answers, in fact. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that they didn't really show a concise plan for server meshing. And that, make, that makes me kind of worried because that's something I expected to happen with the, within the next year. And I don't think it is. I think they might actually have to scrap the idea they presented. Because it doesn't exactly make sense. But you know what? Maybe it works. Maybe they just didn't... Uh, maybe they figured out something revolutionary and just didn't want to give it away. It's... Could happen. And the second thing is... And I wonder if anyone, anyone else actually noticed this. They said absolutely nothing about Squadron 42 at CitizenCon. There was not even a mention of the word Squadron 42 during the entire CitizenCon. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, Tony, how are you doing? Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but they did not mention Squadron 42 at CitizenCon at all. Which everybody I know assumed that this CitizenCon would be the, oh, Squadron 42 is going to release in January CitizenCon. But there was no mention of Squadron 42 at all. Which... I don't know if I'm worried or if that's just kind of their setup. <laughs> Long live Squadron 42. <laughs> yeah. So I think... So there's two options. Either it's like not, not going well and they need like... And they need more time to get it, to get it done. Or option number two... It is ready to go, and they're just going to do a surprise reveal for, for Christmas. That, that's two options here. There's nothing in between. All right, let's, get, let's deliver this uh, crate of gas. Oh, looks, we got, looks like we got ship weapons. I'm actually going to go check that out. And regular weapons, nice. Yeah, I, I am really hoping. I am really hoping for that as well. I mean, I would appreciate an update, uh, because I am actually very excited for Squadron for you. Very, very excited. Uh, but at the same time, if if they're keeping quiet about it for a reason, and it's a good reason, like what you said, like the mar like they're waiting for a marketing push, perfectly fine with me. All right, let's, let's go check out these weapon stores here. Let's go see these ship weapons. Kind of actually wanted to pick up a... Uh, looks like we got mostly cannons. This is Catagon. Gadlings. Mm, I don't want to buy a Gadling right now. What is this? Can I have this? FL33 cannon. That sounds fun. All right, let's go see the console. See what see what they got. Hi. Thanks for coming in. All right, vehicle weapons. So I actually kind of an interesting thing that I noticed in the game file. So you know how the A2 has a size nine bomb in it. So in the game files, there's a size three bomb. And it's not sold anywhere. But I'm kind of waiting for them to release it because it's fully done, it's fully fleshed out, it has all the stats it needs to have to work as a bomb. But it's not in game yet. Well, there's a model for it, I think, but uh, it's not available anywhere. So I'm thinking they're either keeping it on a shelf and they're gonna like let people play with the A2 and then we're gonna oh we really we're gonna release a bunch of bombs that fit on all ships so everybody can bomb which would be kind of nice so you could actually have a fighter bomber that way which would be very very cool so I got some missile racks so I'm, I'm kind of waiting for that to happen I don't know if it's actually gonna happen or if they, there was some other plan there could be that there's a ship let me actually pick up some size 3 repeaters real quick might be useful it could be that there is a ship planned that is going to have those bombs. Good That's going to come out during CitizenCon. So what is this actually? It's a size 3 laser cannon. 
It looks very cool. I think I'm actually going to pick one up. Actually, I'm going to pick up four. Havoc Scaragon. There are many rumors. There are, very, there are many, many rumors. And I genuinely cannot tell you if there is any substance to any of them. Distortion Cannon. It's nice to Distortion Cannon. You know what? Uh, don't mind if I do. I'm, uh, I'm going to pick up a couple of these. Okay, that was actually that was actually a pretty good uh, ship weapon store. And let me check out this uh, regular weapon store. And then let me look. I mean, there are a lot of rumors. There are rumors about the... Sorry, my ear is just... So, there are a lot of rumors. There is the Ares Star Bomber. There is the... Or Crusader Star, Star Bomber. I heard, you know, a Misk Industrial ship coming out. I, I heard about... Fucking Argo Raft. Kind of floating around. There's a lot of, lot of, there's a lot of stuff floating around right now. I'm actually gonna, only going to buy... Batteries here because... I actually need those so they have some weapons until the next I have some ammo until the next patch. Do they have anything interesting? Sniper rifle Warhawk. Eh, don't care. Ooh, they have a clean gland rifle, nice. I mean I have plenty of gland rifles, it's fine. Okay. So that's that's pretty good. I'm actually gonna transfer all these into my inventory. Ooh, can I actually Nice! This is what I was missing. Just let me, you know, highlight my ammo slots. Like that. Should have actually picked up some med pens, too. Actually, I don't need to. So, yeah, like I said, there, there are so many rumors out there right now. And we won't really know until the IAE, when they're going to do their releases. I kind of expect at least one more concept. Maybe, like, one straight-to-flyable ship. Uh... But I think we're probably going to see a concept that's going to be like... Oh, it's going to release in like 317. No armor store? I think, I think that would be too much to want an armor store. If it already has all the other stores. Actually, wait. Nope. Is there anything? I just want to run through this place real quick. Make sure... Uh, I don't think there's going to be an armor store. Usually you're going to have a... So the combinations they have, they either have a ship weapons and regular weapons, and then they have a components and armors. Which is kind of weird, because you would kind of expect... And I know it's, it's done on purpose, so that you don't... You have to travel to buy stuff. But you would kind of expect that you would have most stuff available everywhere. Like... I'm not saying like most items available in every location, but most, but what I'm talking is like every location would have a weapon store, every location would have an armor store. Well, weapon store being unless there is a specific law in that location that you can't carry weapons, like Lorville, for example. You, apparently, you can't carry weapons in Lorville, which is completely fair. All right, pad eight. Let's go, let's go get to our ship. Let's see, pad eight. I really think they need to rework these uh, displays a little bit. I think they could do like, uh, rather than having to scroll. Oh, that would be logical, right? Right. I, I keep forgetting that CAG don't use logic. Right. You know, I, I always, I always assume that CAG thinks like normal people, but then I always have to remember that CAG thinks like any government. Like, if it makes sense, they're not gonna do it. But uh, like I was saying, yeah. Like I was saying, with the panels for hangers. But they could actually do... An, the new UI building blocks would actually perfectly allow that. You would have... It would require more clicking. It would require two clicks. <laughs> but it would be slightly better. So basically you would have... Two buttons. One button for pads. One button for hangers. You would click which, you, which one you wanted. Then you would just select the number. Rather than having to scroll through everything. Which I think is the more logical option. And actually, one thing that, kind of a structural thing about the forehead deck, this should have been a door. There should have been a glass door here. Yeah, they're definitely not lizard overlords. Not, not at all, not at all lizard overlords. Actually, uh, <laughs> if you guys have Netflix uh, and you like animated shows, I, I gotta make a recommendation, go watch Inside Job. It's a very interesting animated series. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anymore. 
but if you're not hooked by the end of the intro, as wake up sheeple, CAGR Vandal. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I'm kind of sick of Hurston. Let's let's go to our corp. Haven't been to our corp in a while. Let's, let's go. So let's go to Page Any Point. I have done no such thing. I am leaving right now, sir. What are you talking about? Please don't store my ship. I'm out of range. You can't store my ship. Oh, wait. Ship storing doesn't work still. I think it still doesn't work. I think that's still a bug where it tells you, oh, you're... So we're storing your ship, and then they're not gonna store your ship. Because why would why the hell would they store your ship? Come on. And the, then someone else spawns their ship in there, either your ship explodes, or your ship gets impounded and you get a fine. You do get teleported out of the ship. So that part still works, but the part where it actually stores the ship doesn't work. Even explicit storing of a ship doesn't work, which For the most part, it's not gonna be a problem. So, so, so it's not that much of a problem because you're generally not gonna stay somewhere that long. Uh, but if you're willing to store your ship to pick up another ship, that's gonna be a problem. So someone said the way server machine is being designed to work, it will add latest to the game. <sighs> It's an interesting question. It's an interesting question. So, the way they're designing it doesn't make sense. Fundamentally. Uh, so, if I have multi... So, the way they're going to run server meshing, it, it's three levels. You got the clients, which are going to be us. Then you got the replication layer. And then you have the actual simulation machines, the simulation servers. And then on top of that is the persistent storage. Now, for some reason, every time you create a shard, and I'm, I'm right now I'm not looking at what's gonna be in the near future where we're gonna have still multiple server instances. I'm looking, you know, far, far in the far future where we're gonna have one instance. Why am I copying the entire universe onto the shards? Why am I doing that? If I don't, if I only need to have a certain area loaded on a simulation server, why am I loading the entire universe into the repl replication layer? So what is the, what is the you know, what is the vertical scaling of this whole thing? So will it add latency to the game itself? Probably not. To the game itself, probably not. Once the servers are on, it's probably going to be running. There's going to be a replication layer going back and forth. There's going to be communication as long as they get. Object container streaming, working with it as long as they finally finish their client-server network refactor, there's not going to be more latency that we have currently. However, it is going to take much, much longer to spin up a new server in, in short term. Obviously, once we have a single instance, it's going to be running permanently, so that's not going to be a problem. But while we are still going to have multiple instances of the universe, it is going to take a very long time to... It's, it's gonna it's gonna take a very long time to actually spin up a new instance because you're gonna have to copy everything into the replication layer, initialize it on simulation machines, and then stream it into the clients. Hey, Red, how are you doing, man? We were just talking about how uh, server meshing is gonna make everything slower. It's not, kind of, not really, maybe. It's me, Red. <laughs> See, dude, I remember your name. I remember you. I, I've got your name. I've got your address. I know where you live. <laughs> right. I forgot how fucking slow this thing is. I got a sibling one to drive this. But actually, kind of an interesting thing about the 400i. It has a very nice fuel tank on it. It's not as good as the MSR. So so the MSR is still the absolute king of long-range transportation. Because I mean, come on, you, you slap the XL1 into the MSR and you can make Porto to Microtech five times. And back. But that's that's some quantum fuel capacity. The 400 i is about I think about a third of that, slightly more than a third. So you can actually go like I would say three times back and forth. 
still very good. But you know, generally speaking, if you're going to be doing explore, like right now, we have such a small area to play on that it doesn't really make sense. You know, if you have a ship that has a good good quantum fuel tank, doesn't make sense not to run a grade A military quantum drive because you just save time on travel. For comparison, it takes four and a half minutes with the XL1 from Porto to Microtech versus like Odyssey, which takes eight minutes, I think. So why not save yourself some time? Once exploration and long range travel is going to be a thing, I think we're going to see a lot more people running like grade A industrial drives, which are extremely slow, but they have almost no fuel consumption. So you could go 10, 20 times between Microtech and Porto, no problem. All right, so we are at our corp. Let's uh, make sure we're spawn set at Beijini. Just in case we happen to die, and we're gonna we're gonna pick up some missions. See, see what we got. See what we got. Left. First, we gotta wait for the good old quantum drive to uh, finally cool itself down. We will have to see about that, Tony. I. So there are kind of two considerations for that. Right now, I believe quantum travel is faster than it should be. It's slightly accelerated right now, or at least compared to the lore. So that's one factor to consider. <sighs> this fucking dropout, I hate it. So that's factor number one to consider. Factor number two is how long and how fast. How long is it going to take, or rather, how fast is it going to be to tra to travel from system to system? That's going to be a second consideration. And finally, how are different things going to be affecting that? Like. Are you going to have to take special routes? Are there going to be multiple... I mean, they, they have said that there are going to be multiple jump points from system to system to allow for smuggling. So is it going to be possible to take a faster route? That kind of stuff. But yeah, I think... Ultimately, we're going to have to get used to traveling for longer times. Because we're going to have to cover longer distance. You're going to have missions that are going to be within one star system... You're going to have missions that are going to be on one planet. It's going to be very fast traveling. You're going to have missions that are going to be ones in one system. So that's going to take you a little longer. And then you're going to have missions where you're going to have to go through multiple store systems. Which is going to take you a while. So yeah. Uh, I think the whole idea of travel time is, is relative. Depending on what you're doing. But generally speaking, you know, for me right now. I want to do stuff. I, gotta, I want to create content. I, I don't want to be traveling from point A to point B. That's, that's why I very heavily use military quantum drives because they're the fastest there's my landing pad but yeah, ultimately it's going to be relative we'll see what changes does pyro bring I, I, I do think we're going to see pyro next year uh, so far everything is pointing towards that the only area of concern is server mission for me I mean if they make it work on the scale that they're proposing it's probably going to be fine uh, but it might be problematic. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It's, it's a long shot. Yeah, there's the quantum travel system is fine. There, there's no reason to be messing with quantum travel right now. The, the only thing they're going to want to do with quantum travel is quantum detection. So that, for example, the Mantis can detect ships coming in in quantum. So, you know, when to deploy your... Uh, your snare. Other thing you're going to want to do is quantum probes, which they said they were going to do so you can designate a point and scan it remotely, that kind of stuff. Other than that, I think they're going to mess with quantum damage. And you know, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, I don't mind being in quantum for 5, 10, 15 minutes. Ultimately, I don't care. You can, you know, walk around your ship, you can do other tasks, you can, you know, check on your cargo, check on your crew, manage your gear, or, you know, do whatever else on your ship. You technically don't need to be present and in your seat for quantum travel. So you can do whatever. You can go eat. If your character is hungry, you can just go eat. That kind of stuff. So, you know, not to worry. So hold on, is it? Huh. That's a bug. The Galant is missing the stock. Interesting. Anyway, let's go set our spawn. 
I might actually explore the stores here a little bit if, if I if I feel like it. But uh, but yeah. Ooh, would that would be fun? That would be fun. Just release <laughs> release a beast in the reclaimer. <laughs> Actually, that would be kind of boring because the reclaimer has elevators, and I don't think the the bear could uh, could use it. On well, a starfarer, that would be more fun. Starfarer has has stairs everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I would like additional things I can do in quantum. It's, doesn't have to be. I mean, technically, even now you can do it. Just get out of your seat, go eat, that kind of stuff. So there there are things you can do in quantum, but I would like more things. Anyway. Alright, let's go uh, let's go get checked out. Ma'am. What is this? Chernobyl? Teleporting people? God damn, okay, patient checking. I, I really like the new UI screens for uh, for uh, medical. And generally they're really fleshing out like their their panels. Okay, so we're going to medical room four. Medical room four, that's three, two, four. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, I am actually very, very much looking forward to Starfarer Gold Standard or Reclaimer Gold Standard. Uh, I think it's gonna be... So, what you kind of have to keep in mind is that the Starfarer and the Reclaimer were kind of the first very large ships in the game. And CIG was still learning how to build these ships, so... They're not like, for example, I love the Reclaimer. It's it's a very well designed ship. It just needs a little bit of love. The Starfarer probably needs a full rework of the interior at least. And I think it's gonna come with the refueling arm, which has been promised to us at, at some point. All right, let's see. Let's uh, transfer my imprint here. Yes. Transfer imprint. Imprint. Thank you. Yes. Tony's right. The, the ship team have been improving, and generally ship tech has been. Uh... Yeah, Starfire was originally designed as an FPS map, so that's that's why it's kind of doubled up and everything. That's why. Uh... Morphology just actually had a very good review on the Starfire, and he was very right in one thing. Uh, it's filled with circulation spaces, so it's it's got hallways and everything. You can actually see. Uh... You know, so you can actually see that all the hallways are, are on both sides and all the rooms kind of in between. Kind of shows the hallmarks of a FPS map design. But uh, yeah, I, I do like the Starfire. It's a good ship. It has a purpose. Uh, can't wait for it to actually be working with refueling and stuff. Uh, but we're going to have to wait for that one a little bit. Right, let's see what we have to do on... Uh, let's see what, what's there to do here. Oh yeah, let me actually check my reputation with the... Uh, so it actually so interesting interesting part that they actually did affinity is now displaying and i don't know if that's a bug because it's all placeholders but uh oh shit retaliatory gold, gold standard is gonna be great guys trust me like i i didn't even know i completely forgot that they were doing a saber gold standard dispatch and i flew it with the gold standard now and it's amazing so if they're gonna do the same level of improvement with the Starfarer, the Tally, the Reclaimer, it's gonna be great. All right, so I'm landing pad on Orcro. I don't really want to do deliveries. Security. Don't really want to do this stuff either. Protect site trial contact. I'm sorry. Due to inactivity, That's fine. Okay, let's let's do a. I mean, we could do a delivery, actually. But... I kind of want to try some combat missions. I want to try the new Protect mission. Okay. Let me grab this. Let me actually grab the uh, Cult of Arms as well. I don't think there's any investigations to do. Okay. And there we go. There goes, there goes my ship getting, uh, there goes my ship getting, uh, repoed. 
yeah, I'm going to grab something else. Actually, I, I, could, I could go grab it, because it's not going to despawn, right? I just need to find which pad it's on. Pad 5, okay, let's go pad 5. Yeah, I actually also forgot that 600 die is being worked on, but I, I agree that I have high hopes for the 600 die. Hopefully they do something about the crew quarters. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I, th I think the 600 die rework is going to be great. Yeah, there we go, now, now it's impounded, I think. So it actually, it actually still might be there. I think that I'm pretty sure the impound also doesn't disappear the ship. But yeah, I agree. The 600 I rework is gonna be is gonna be amazing. Oh, so it actually does disappear. Cool. All right, let me claim a. I think I'm actually gonna take the 100 I out. This is gonna have a quick claim time and everything. And I. Yeah. Let me actually try the uh, combat one hundred die. Then again, it's a protection mission, so I'm not gonna need guns to get in. Nice. All right, let's let's grab a ship. Okay, so the four hundred die is fucked officially because it's not gonna be possible to claim. Actually. How long is it going to take to claim a raven? Eh. Anyway, yeah, let's let's take uh let's take uh So just kind of a for you guys who have never seen my stream. I do not actually own all the ships. <laughs> I just uh, so I'm Evocati. And Evocati had all the ships in the So let's do the Combat. Iwakari had all the ships in the first PTU patches, and I haven't recopied my account since, so I still have all the ships because you basically do that with a recopy, or a recopy would delete all my ships, or just give me my pledge ships. But I didn't do that because I want all the ships, because I want to go in, take some footage, do some testing, that kind of stuff. All right, so we got the 125A, which is the combat. How dare you lie to us? Can't hear game audio. Huh. Interesting. Why can't you hear game audio? Let me just check on that. I think I actually have it really quiet. Okay, master volume is up full. Yeah, it's secret whale, yeah. <laughs> I honestly wish I was that rich. That's interesting. Why can't you hear game audio? Hmm. Hey, let me just check on something, see if my OBS is picking it up right. Uh, audio settings, yes, play in background. No, it seems to be, uh, seems to be working. I'm actually going to boost it up a little bit. There we go, now you should be hearing it. Can you guys hear the game audio? Do you see the upcoming? I have, and I actually have to say, yes, I, I think I have it where I have the music really turned down, and then I have the computer voice turned up. Uh, I turned up game audio, so you, you guys should be hearing it slightly better now. Anyway, where was my ship? Fucking hell. I had one, okay. <laughs> well, Andre, it, it does happen like, like that. Oh, hello, sir. And that is not, not your elevator. That is not my elevator. Anyway. So I did see the new Special Edition Pembroke armor. Uh, I also saw... So I actually really like the new rework of the Pembroke armor in general. Thank you, Smoking Ace. So... <sighs> if I can lost my thought, thought again. All right, so, I, so the new Pembroke armor... Uh, Absolutely amazing. Love it. Uh, but... Yeah, even the end the special edition that's gonna be coming out as well, yeah. So it's funny, so I didn't like that the Pembroke and the Novikov armor was just the same armor, just looking different, but now that the Pembroke is kinda, like, you know, it has that, like, reflective service and everything, so it looks like you're gonna be taking it to, like, very hot planets and stuff. 
Where, you know, so I actually th hope they're gonna rework the Novikov now to where it's gonna be, because I do like the cloth texture on it, on, on the Pembroke now. So I'm actually kind of hope, hoping they're gonna rework the Novikov so it also has that cloth texture. But at the same time, I'm kind of hoping for just a little bit of fur on it. Because you, you can't have an Arctic armor without fur. That's, that's just stupid. Yeah, Pembroke does look way better now. That's what I'm saying, I'm hoping they're gonna go back to the Navikov now. But I mean, it looks fine as this, but... Give, give me a fur collar, CH. That's all I want, just give me a fur collar on, on the Navikov and I'm gonna be happy. Everything's gonna be fine if you do that. Red. Unlike you, I don't. I, I am not into touching dead bodies. Right, fur would look amazing. I don't know how it would work with the. I, I guess they would use the. I mean, they do actually have fur clothing. I think one of the jackets you can buy on Microtech has a, a fur collar. But I don't exactly know how fur would work with. Uh, How can I jump there directly, sir? That's Thank not you. how this works. So, as I saying, right? So I don't know how fur would work with the current rendering system. Why is it showing me a? What? Excuse me. What is happening there? Oh, I see what's happening. All right, Lyria. Ooh, that, that would be fun. That would be fun. Ooh, that was that was a close one. But yeah, so I don't know how fur would work right now because we still don't have the new hair system. It, it, you can see it on some NPCs in Orson, the new new hair tech, but it's not widely available. So I don't know if they're actually gonna do it with uh, like character hair and then clothing. Would love to see it. Definitely would love to see some fur going on, like clothing and stuff. And armors. Like, give me armor with some fur on it. It's gonna look so good, but... And, you know, and they do also have that kind of modular armor system with the new armor where if you have the matching pieces of the armor, it's gonna add some connecting pieces, so... Opportunity for that as well. We will see. It's kind of... It's, it's like little things. It's like little feature requests that I have, but... Uh, Space Mink, exactly. That's, that's why I want Space Mink. Like, come on, guys. Have you ever pet a mink, guys? Th those things are so fucking soft. Actually, speaking of petting animals, there is one animal on this planet that I would like to pet, but no one will let me. That is a chinchilla. I, I mean, just, just... Have you ever seen a chinchilla? That thing looks super soft. And no one I know has one, because I know people keep them as pets, but no one I know has one. <laughs> hey, look, uh, vast majority of my life has been driven by trying to pet various fluffy animals. Like, those of you who have been watching me on Twitch, they, you know, but those of you who, who haven't watched me on Twitch. So when I was like six, seven years old, my grandfather took me into, into the mountains in Slovakia to pick blueberries. And we're out there picking blueberries. Yeah, I know that they actually like dust bass because they would mold if they if they bathe them water. Or if they get wet, they they don't dry. So, and we were picking blueberries, and then we would see a bear, and I'm like, I'm gonna go pet that bear. <laughs> you know, like a tiny six, seven year old. Like, oh, I'm gonna go pet that wild bear over there because it looks soft. Notice, I can't get a chinchilla. They they don't uh, they they don't sell them here. They don't sell them here, and apparently it's illegal to have one here because it's an exotic animal that would still survive here? Somehow? I don't know how it would survive here. I think it's a little too cold for chinchilla around here. And a little too wet. But, uh... Yeah, apparently they, they would actually dest destroy the ecosystem or something like that, so... We can't have a chinchilla. I looked into it. And, and yeah, it, it's a good story, Ansgar. It's a very good story. <laughs> Alright, let's go, uh... Oof, that was, a, that was a little bit harder landing than I wanted. Also, Lyria is looking great. 
Like, I, I haven't been to Lyria in a while, and I actually went in 314 to do the Sunsets of Stanton. Your classmate has a chinchilla? Oh. Why are we not at your classmate's place petting a chinchilla right now? Excuse me. Bring the car around. We're going to pet a chinchilla right now. <laughs> Yeah, hand over the chinchilla. Hand over the rodent immediately. Did I land with... Oh, okay. I landed with landing gear. Well, it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to, to her house immediately. And we're petting a chinchilla. Like, fuck whatever everybody thinks. Yeah, I, I read somewhere that you can't have them. Because of ecosystem or something like that. Uh... Might not be true, because it was a fairly or old article, so it might not be true anymore. Because I, I am like... 99% sure it's way too cold and way too wet here for a chinchilla to survive in the wild. Especially since they're gonna mold and die if they get wet. It rains here like all the time, so... Uh... But yeah, why are we not petting a chinchilla right now? Like, come on. That, that's a fair point, Theus. That's that's a very fair point. <laughs> I guess there's gonna be bad guys down here, but there's also gonna be good guys down here. Ooh, there, that was a bad guy. Oh, that was not a bad guy. <laughs> that's a bad guy. Well, I am now a criminal. And I am definitely gonna die. <laughs> Well, uh, excuse me. I got cram stat too, but there's a firefight still going on. Yeah, I, I didn't really check. I probably checked my. Uh, that's 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 a bad guy, right? Yep, that that was a bad guy. I think. I actually don't know what the R Corp security personnel look like. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a bad guy. Oh, actually, good chance to test out the uh, what's it called the healing tool. Oh, I am actually uninjured, but I but I just got shot. Okay. Yeah. Considering that guy was wearing heavy armor, it didn't take that much to shoot the guy. Oh, these guys are gonna be our corp. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Huh. I'm gonna guess that these these guys are uh, our corp security. Okay, well. I got a crime stat, and I have no way to clear it. Cause that's a bad guy. I don't know why I'm even clearing this place. I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Like, I'm not getting paid for this. Oh, hello, sir. Ow. Uh. Sir. You're, you're gonna still shooting. And I'm stuck. Ah, for fuck's sakes. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, running out of this bunker. Yes, I, I am pretty sure attack squirrels are, uh, are illegal in your state. But you might want to check uh, with your uh, local authority on that. Huh, okay, so apparently, sec yeah, that's, uh, they do look very similar. I mean, the arc, so, microtech security, you can tell those guys apart very easily. 
because they're, they're wearing white, right? So it's fairly easy to tell apart. But... All right, my ship probably got blown up by the turrets, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's a... Uh, turrets? I didn't see no turrets. Hey. What the fuck? Oh, there's a turret. Anyway, so... So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of stranded right now. <laughs> Hold on. So... So I still have the contract for... What? The mission didn't... What? Oh, so the mission is still still good to go? Cool. Okay. The mission is still still good to go, so I guess I'm gonna finish the mission. Question mark? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna die anyway. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I agree. So, you know, Microtech and Hurston Dynamics Security, those guys are very easy to tell apart because Microtech is all white and Hurston Dynamics are they're kind of gold, gold black. But uh, this is like red blue bad guys and like red gray good guys. Kind of hard to tell apart, not gonna lie. It would, it would kind of be easier if you actually had like markers for the bad guys. Oh, it looks like someone was here before me. If you had like markers for bad guys, because this, this is a bad guy. This is this is a good guy right here. This is a good guy. And this is a bad guy. I'm actually gonna turn my boy over. That's not good. Ow. 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 Well, I just I just took a shotgun in the face. Feels great. I bet Star found sells chinchillas for fifteen hundred. That's actually a good price for a chinchilla. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Oh. Ouchie. Anyway. <laughs> no, definitely okay, well I'm uh I'm bleeding out. And I have a crime stat anyway, so I, I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna commit suicide. I can't buy a chinchilla. I'm not allowed to have pets in the apartment. Come on. And uh, I think uh, either they need better lighting or armor. But you know, if you just kind of gave, uh, if you kind of just had like. You know how you have party markers, so if they just kind of give you markers on your HUD when you come in there, that would, that would be kind of a very quick fix. Anyway, uh, one of you one of you uh, decided to support the Armory on Patreon, so uh, whoever you are, thank you, sir. Your contribution to the Armory is very, very appreciated. Alright, so I do want to work. I don't think I have, I don't think I actually have, uh, I think I actually have that, that much of a sentence going on. Hey, for those of you who didn't know, the Armory now has a Patreon account, so you can uh, help me pay for the servers! Because I gotta pay for servers now. <laughs> Just tell them it's a service. Oh, right, right, it's, it's my emotional support fluffy animal. Damn. Don't tempt me like that. I, I can't have a chinchilla. As much as... As, my, as, as much as... <laughs> get you know what? You know what, I'm actually gonna try it because I'm actually going to my doctor's on the on the, uh, on Thursday because my uh, my neck's been hurting for like two weeks now. God damn, 14 minutes. What did I do? Oh right, I shot some security people. Yeah, that is true. I did did shoot some security. People. Okay, let's let's go do some mining. Yeah, let's go do some mining. What was I saying? Right, yeah, the Armory now has a Patreon account for those of you who want to support the Armory by helping me pay the server cost, which would be nice, but not at all required, and I can manage. But yeah, someone just uh, contributed on Patreon, and if you're watching, thank you. Anyway, I think I... I guess I do have the mining tool, perfect. Let's go! Okay, I, hold on, I, I have been sent a link by my girlfriend, so I'm just gonna go inspect the link real quick. <gasps> oh my god! Hello! 
That's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, the, they're only gonna. It says that they're only gonna sell both of them. And if I can't have one chinchilla, I definitely can't have two chinchillas. <laughs> they're so cute. There are dead bodies everywhere. This is not making me feel very confident about these work mines. To be honest with you guys. <laughs> do I have a back? Oh, I do have a backpack. Good. So, gotta find some rocks. Gotta find some rocks to break. I mean, rebrand to this space channel. <laughs> well, as soon as I as soon as I can monetize my videos. And I make enough money to buy my own apartment so I can have chinchillas. That's that's when I'm gonna rebrand the space chinchillas. And it's gonna be all chinchilla content from from then on. Like that's that's gonna be when I'm gonna turn the channel around, make millions. Oh yeah, Theus, I'm also looking forward to tripping over dead bodies everywhere in 315. I, I am also looking forward to being drugged to death everywhere I go in 315. Alright, let's let's go mine this this rock here. Hmm. Is my head slightly offset? God damn it, CIG. Like three fifteen launch is gonna be it is gonna be great, it's gonna be fun. Space Rufies, exactly. I mean that when wave one released, that's exactly what happened. Everybody was just drugged everywhere. Okay, there's my uh I'm actually gonna see if they fixed the inventory pickup thing. Gotta go slow since I can't see half my fucking multi-tool. I mean wasn't there like a article somewhere saying that the drug epidemic is taking over Star Citizen after a new release? I think I saw something like that on Twitter. Regular night in Prague pretty much. Yeah, when you think about it, 315, all that all 315 is gonna do is it's gonna bring an opioid crisis on Star Citizen. That's all that's gonna happen in 315. Nothing else is gonna matter. Everyone's just gonna be high until 316. We're just gonna be high. In, in, in landing zones. Nobody's gonna take off. We're just gonna be high. Everywhere. Okay. Yes, store. Oh, they fixed it. Nice. So you can actually pick things up fast now. Wait. Let me, let me pick up my shiny crystals. I wonder, do, do these crystals have healing effects? Sure, send, send links. And, and yes, Theo, sit in your 890 gems and snort in coke all day. Exactly. That's, that's, that's all you need to do. I'm actually really looking forward to the 315 release. We're gonna see so many people come out of the woodwork, and I actually finally got a, a long, long-time friend of mine to buy Star Citizen. So I'm actually gonna get to teach someone new how to play Star Citizen. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's see if it lets her send links. Because if if the bot works, it, it's not gonna let her send links. Oh, there's another one. Why is my multi-tool or all screwed? Huh, interesting. I did get my uh, laser and keep up <laughs> right laser. <laughs> yes, I, I did uh, I did get my uh, LTI Argo Cargo. So for those of you who are trying to get the referral bonus for uh, the fall referral with the Argo Cargo, uh I got it immediately. I think I got it within the hour. Uh, the the post says that you're gonna get it first of December when the uh, when the promotion ends. Uh, but I actually got it like within an hour after my friend signed up. So it's actually way faster than that. So it's a it's an LTI. Attention! attention. Please direct your attention towards the front gates. One of our oh, okay. <laughs> so. Let's give them a round of so, so it's Argo Cargo with LTI. It is non-meltable. It is non-giftable. 
Uh, but it can be CCU'd, so if, if you want like a cheap LTI token, definitely works. Yeah, so yeah, if you want an LTI token, definitely can get it as an LTI token. Uh, otherwise, that's it pretty much. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think I might just like keep it or have it as an LTI token. Basically, what you can do is uh, because technically they cheaped out on us, <laughs> because I believe last year's referral bonus was an LTI Dragonfly. Might have not been LTI, but it was Dragonfly. So they kind of cheaped out on us because they gave us a cheaper ship, but they gave us a ship. That's going to be very useful in the game. How important is LTI? I can't look right now. I uh, can't look right now because this is going to explain. How important is LTI? Uh, we don't know. Honest answer for your question is we don't know. We don't know how expensive insurance is going to be, how much is insurance is going to cover, uh, but... LTI basically ensures that once the game is in a state where it has the insurance system working, you're never going to have to buy insurance for your ship. I'm assuming it's going to mean that your ship is going to be covered completely in any situation. Uh, but we'll have to see. So, we don't know. Right now, LTI is kind of a... You know... Get it and have it kind of a thing. Whether it's going to be actually important remains to be seen. But, but I think they would have to make it fairly important and fairly, you know, a money saver to justify kind of the added cost for people. I mean, ultimately, my opinion is that every ship bought in the Alpha should be LTI. Like, if you have a starter pack, it should be LTI. That's kind of my opinion. At the end of the day, it is not what's going to happen, but I think that's how it should be. All right, so... We have a uh, we have a bunch of Afrite on us, and uh, I've, I've been sent a link, and I have been <gasps> oh my god. Okay, okay, guys, look at that. Go look at that, guys. Just, you know, just look at that. <laughs> Just look at that link. <laughs> just, just, just look at that. <laughs> it's a baby chinchilla. It's adorable. Okay. Anyway, back back to the game. Uh, apparently, the new Pembroke are, are already going out. Okay. I uh, didn't know about it. Uh, what do I need to do to get the new Pembroke suit? So it remind me, this? In any case. Yes. So, yeah, it's okay. I, yeah, all LTI for everybody before release. Probably the best course of action, really. Uh, oh, more stuff. But, Deus, I cannot activate Super Chat. So, here's the fun thing. So, I can't have Super Chat or channel memberships until I can monetize my YouTube channel. And I can't do that until I meet the conditions. Which one is 1,000 subscribers, we have that, and the other one is uh, 4,000 watch hours, which I don't have yet. But what I'm hoping to do is, uh, so I can see you need to get that ball of floof. <laughs> but first you need to send me enough money to buy an apartment, then I can get a, then I can get a ball of floof. Okay, so this one's not scanning, let's, let's try this one. There we go. So, uh... Yeah, first I need to get an apartment, then, then I need to get a... Then I can get a ball of floof. And I very much want the ball of floof because it's very cute. But yeah, so first first we need to get to get monetization threshold, which... Streams actually do count towards that. So what I'm actually hoping to do is... Uh, by streaming on YouTube, just have a bunch of watch hours going. So that's gonna help me get to that threshold much faster than I would. I will simply perish. Yes, I agree. I will also simply perish if we don't get a ball of floof. That, that, look at look at that baby. That, that is so cute. I can't. My, my heart can't. It's melting my frozen heart. It's so cute. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, there, there are some steps that, are, that I'm gonna have to take before 
there's going to be super chats and there's going to be channel memberships, that kind of stuff. So basically, I am giving up the income I would have from Twitch, but obviously the potential income from YouTube is much higher. So it just makes more sense to be streaming on YouTube now. Also, it's just much easier for me to be maintaining one platform rather than two platforms. Also, let's be honest, Twitch has not been doing very good in the, in the last couple months to a year, you know. We have to listen. <laughs> Lady, do, do you know how expensive apartments are? It's asking, you know. So if you have a big idea how, how expensive it is to live here. Why won't you stow? Fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stow my my tool. Oh, it's a sub flare thing. Okay, okay. Well, I might have to sub because I kind of want one. Because it's very cool. Well, you see, I I can't say no to it, but my bank account can. And, and my mortgage consultant can can definitely say no to me, and, and she has more than once. Like I think I think I've been to my bank three times now, asking like, "Hey, can I get a mortgage for an apartment?" And they were like, "Just does a typey type on her computer." She's like, "Fuck it, no. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's true, folks. I I can't afford shit in this city. It's okay though. I'm, I'm gonna you know, to rob a bank. That's that's illegal." Ma'am, that's illegal. We shall not rob a bank. R robbing, robbing a bank is, is very illegal. Don't rob a bank. Yeah, you know... I... So, I, I think we would actually need to rob several banks successfully to actually get enough money to buy a place. That's... Uh, uh, great. Okay, that's a dead end. Oh no, she, she has she has named the chinchilla. Okay, we're not, now we have to buy the fucking chinchilla. God damn it. Yeah, it's, it's our baby now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it, it is done. Yep. Yep. Oh well. Yep. <laughs> oh, I guess I have a chinchilla now. <laughs> there we go, exit. I guess I have a chinchilla now. Well. Alright. Well. I mean, what, what do you even keep a chinchilla in? Do they, do you like have a, have an aquarium or, or like like a cage or you know? God damn it! Oh well, I guess I guess I have to learn. Okay, well I guess we're I guess we're starting a second Patreon for 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 a chinchilla. <laughs> No, let's a friendly reminder to leave all materials found during mining expeditions outside yes. the loading oh. area. These might contain yes. I would like to deposit merits after deposit. Due to your recent actions, no. we reduce time on your sentence. So I can actually get out of here now. I do have a big room, so I can I, I can get a big cage for it, so we at Cluster Rehabilitation are extremely proud to have played a role in your rehabilitation and hope that you've used this time to better yourself as a human and as a member of civilized society. You can also get a ball for it to run around in. It sounds loud. But but uh, you know what? I'm uh, I'm I'm in. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess we're gonna do a yeah. I guess I guess I want the chinchilla now. Hey Naz, how are you doing, man? <laughs> Fancy seeing you here, isn't isn't it a little bit a little bit early for you? Alright, let's, let's go get released from prison. I wonder where it's gonna put me, if it's gonna put me on Beijing or into Lorville. Hopefully it's gonna be Lorville because I need to uh, need to buy all new gear now. Since uh I lost my gear. By getting arrested. Or rather by dying. Alright, surface level, let's go. How are you doing, Naz? I, I think it's a, isn't it a little too early for you right now? Actually, my, it's, oh, it's like, uh... Alright, it's, it's like half past two, okay. Oh, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. Uh, happy to be streaming again. And, uh, hey, got to 1k today. Finally. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing great. Ho hoping to get on the hoping I'm hoping to get on the captain's table this Saturday, since uh, so apparently daylight savings toggled in Europe two weeks ahead of the U.S. 
So the show is not going to be at, at midnight for me. It's going to be at uh, at 11, which would be pretty great. So I'm hoping to go on the captain's table on Saturday. If you, if you want to come along, that would be fun. And sorry I couldn't do the show uh, when you poked me on Monday. I, it, was, it would be like crazy early for me. Like crazy early. Rusty man, hey. How are you doing? Alright, so we are at Everest, according to this thing. Are we? Okay, so we are actually at Everest. And, oh! Huh. Is that... Intended? I dropped my gun because it was in my hands. That makes sense, but... Uh, seemed to have... Everything else? But when you die, you're supposed to lose everything, but I guess... But I guess I got arrested because I was a criminal in a secure facility. Okay, I, I genuinely don't know if this is intended or if, if it's... Uh... Congress, don't sleep, you should... Yeah, I... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what, you're, you're right. Content careers don't sleep. Uh, I think I, you know what, I, I think I slept like three hours last night. I, I got my three hours in. I, I got my nap. But uh, yeah, yeah. Content careers don't, don't sleep. That's that's true. And like, especially when you're me, like a content career with a job and, and going to college. I, I do not get sleep. S sleep is something that, that I vaguely remember from my childhood. Alright, so let's go claim the ships. Claim the ships. So we gotta get the 400 eye back here. We gotta claim the 100 eye. Let's let's do missions where we're not gonna die for, for a little bit. Oh, so interesting. So it actually transferred to Clashner. Kind of a curious thing. Okay, I am not entirely certain whether that worked as intended. Not not gonna lie. Right, let's go. Let's go find us, ourselves a different mission. Something that does not involve uh, get some investigations. Nothing going on. And sleeping problems, right? All right. I don't want to do bounties. I, I am kind of out bountied right now. Don't want to do investigations. Don't really want to be running through caves right now. You know what? Let's. Uh, they probably haven't fixed it, but I, I think I'm actually gonna. Run some deliveries, and what I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, that is true. All stars of the missions have a very good potential of dying. You know, I'm actually gonna take uh, what haven't I flown in a while? Let's see, something, something cool. I think the Reliant. I haven't flown the Reliant in a while. I, I, I flew the 300i not so long ago. Where did I flew today? I don't want to do the Aurora right now. That is true, Tony. The AI is, is not great right now, but it did have a pretty good improvement in 315. It's a little more responsive. It's, it's you know trying to run around you a little bit. Yeah, but let's do a Reliant. Let's do a... I want a Tana. Let's do Core. You know what? Let's do the Reliant Sen. Actually, no, it doesn't have enough cargo space. Okay, I guess we're doing the Reliant Core. But yeah, I agree. There, there's been a great improvement in, in AI. Even in the... So the FPS AI is definitely behaving better. Com like, dogfighting AI, it's not quite there yet. It's a little bit sluggish. Uh, but I feel like that's a server performance thing. I, you know what? I So I actually picked up the Reliant in 314 in-game. In and you know what? It's, it's a very good ship. It's uh, where I didn't, didn't like it. Now it kind of has a... I don't know, I, I, I kind of learned to like it. Alright, thank, thank you for uh, stopping by, Naz, and hope, hope to see you, uh, you know, next week or at the captain's table at, at some point, dude. Have a, have a good one. Have fun work. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go do deliveries. I think the Reliant is going to be a good one. I actually haven't... Uh, I think last time I flew the Reliant was uh, when I was doing some pictures in 314. I think I might have actually taken it for... Uh, the uh, census of Stanton video. 
Oh yeah, I forget that uh, the core doesn't have a bed. But it does have cargo space, which is... Uh, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a good starter. I think the Tana should have been the starter. Is the door not closed? Oh, it has a panel now, okay. Yeah, so I... I much prefer the Reliance with a bed. But you do get a little bit of cargo space, so... It's fine, I guess. Yep, the ship is fully harnessing the power of decent guy, I agree. They're, they're fully desyncing all around you. <laughs> wow, this thing has a lot of guns. Huh. I guess all the Reliance are uh, pretty well armed. Alright, pick a package. And I need to pick up the package from... Uh, HDMS Hadley? Looks like. And then I gotta deliver it to three outposts. What is interesting is that delivery company missions don't save right now. They don't save the reputation. They kind of fail or behave as if they failed. But the interesting bit is that the first mission you get, they give you... Uh, here, deliver one box. But with the retry mission, they're like, okay, deliver these three things. Like, they give you a harder mission to prove yourself. Let me, let me drink some sugar real quick. Oh yeah, sweet, sweet sugar. God, I gotta keep myself awake somehow. Right. Yeah. So I'm actually really liking the stats on the... Uh... Yeah, so I, I, have a, I have the issue where if I succeed with the mission, it uh, withdraws and it fails it. I, I mean, I still get paid, so it doesn't fail, it just withdraws and the reputation resets. But you know, maybe it's gonna work now. Huh. Cool. Oh, okay, so that, that's the Infiltrate a Still missions. So that's that's that. that those work. I, I tried those. Those work. Those, those work fine. But what I'm doing right now, I am... Uh... Huh, interesting. But yeah, what I'm doing now is just Pick it up from a regular outpost and deliver it to another regular outpost. The objective withdraws and I don't get the rep and it actually kind of gives me negative reputation as if I failed it. So they're going to go, okay, you're, you're going to have to try again. Uh, yeah. Like, right, so, I, so I'm really liking the stats display on the on YouTube. Definitely looks better. So it actually shows me how many people are watching right now. It also shows me how many people have liked the stream so far. And what's interesting, it actually shows me how many people are playing it back right now. So someone is actually out there playing it from the beginning. And here's actually the cool part about uh, streams on YouTube. They upload directly as a video. So if someone missed it, it just gets uploaded as a video right away. Which is great. Now let me actually... Oh, this is actually in two buildings. Uh, I guess I'm gonna park somewhere in between. So I don't really wanna. I don't really wanna run that much, to be honest. It is actually like showing me like overall stats so far. And uh it's actually showing me a lot of the stuff that's shown in OBS. It's like showing me the state of my stream and it's showing me. I think, it, I think I somehow saw a place where it would show me, like, dropped packets and stuff. Very good stuff. Alright. Let's go... Ow. Let's go grab the boxes. What? What? Well. And children, that is why I carry a healing tool. Because the wind can kill you. I'm a little bit drugged now. But I think I'm okay. Or not. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Okay, 200 kilometers per hour winds everywhere. <laughs> looks like I'm walking fine. Let me check my uh, mobby. Okay, it looks like I'm healed up. Alright, looks, looks, like, looks like I'm good. But yeah, so, so I'm definitely liking the YouTube setup uh, much more right now. 
still kind of have to wait for stream elements to catch up on a couple things, like media requests, like song requests, that kind of stuff. It doesn't work yet. But, uh, yeah, so far pretty good. Again, with the stumbling. How much of crunch and So... The engine that is used for Star Citizen is Lumberyard. You can download Lumberyard for free. You can actually go download Lumberyard right now. And then do whatever you want with it. It's a free to use game engine from Amazon. It is based on the CryEngine, so if you actually open Lumberyard, it is 90% CryEngine. And I'm, I'm saying this from a point of view of a person who has worked with CryEngine. It is 90% CryEngine. And there's a little bit uh, done on top of it from Amazon. CIG is mostly using... Apparently crouching helps with the wind. Thank you, Ryan. Also, hey, how are you doing, man? Haven't, uh, haven't talked to you in a while. So... So I don't think CIG has modified the engine to the point where it's a different engine. However, they have added their own tools and their own modules to it to help their process. So it's still Lumberyard, which by extension is still CryEngine. But, you know, it's it's not really a game engine debate, it's more of a legal debate at this point. Considering that Crytek has sued Star Citizen over Lumberyard. Uh, yeah. Huh. Okay, so crouching does help. Except I can't... Uh, helps with the wind, except I can't get on my... What? What the fuck just happened? No, don't you fucking run away from me. That's my box. Yeah, this is gonna be painful. You know what? This this is why I like planets without an atmosphere. <laughs> okay, let's go let's go crouch our way over there. Okay, that's gonna take too long. Anyway, so yeah. So the lumber yard is basically cry engine. Uh, but CAG have done a lot of their a lot of their own work with Lumberyard to make their own tooling, and uh, yeah. But uh, there was a time actually, and I don't know if it's still maintained uh, because I couldn't get it to work maybe half a year ago. But there used to be a build of CryEngine that would actually be capable of running a local version of Star Citizen for modding. So. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Voodoo, you might be right on that one. You, you definitely might be right. Yeah, you know, it, it is hilarious and it's frustrating. I think they need, they're gonna have to tweak the weather a little bit. I think they overdid it because they're like, oh, we have storms now, so it's gonna be like stormy everywhere, twenty four seven. Like, I, I don't think I've seen. The clear weather in New Babbage since. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, you know, def definitely uh, happy to see you after, after such a long time. I'm, I'm trying out this YouTube streaming thing, thing you know. I got, I got fed up with Twitch. Come on. And I'm dead. It actually killed me all the way. Wow. Nice. Oh yeah, check out this feature. It's wind! Alright, I'm gonna respawn at Beijini because I didn't set my... Uh... Alright, yeah, because I didn't set my spawn. Oh, did I not get the, uh... Oh, I was supposed to get the, uh... Complimentary suit. Did I not get the complimentary suit? That's sad. Anyway, what I think I'm actually gonna do is, uh... What? Current location... Kelto... What? Okay, excuse me, where the fuck am I right now? Okay, so I am definitely at Parkour. 
And that is why Carrick is probably the only ship for for 315. Okay, so let me reset my location to primary residence facility. Which is gonna Let me just Let me just suicide myself real quick. See see what happens. You're right. I I have been actually considering doing something like that. Uh, I could actually set it up myself. Uh, it's not not that hard to set up an RTMP server and and restream. Uh, the problem there is that if you're affiliate on Twitch and partnered on YouTube, you can't be streaming the same contents to the both to both platforms at the same time. And you know, in the end, I just decided to okay, I'm gonna I, decided, you know, I said that I'm gonna do YouTube because Twitch has not been doing so great, in, in my opinion, recently. Skill to facility, yeah. And same thing with Lorville, right? Because Lorville doesn't have a hospital yet either. So that should... Right, so that, that got me to Evers right now. So I think I'm... Uh, so I think I'm gonna go uh, fly down there and get my shit. Because I would like my shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm obviously gonna die immediately. Alright, so. Medical care. I'm fine. Yeah. But you're supposed to get a uh, complimentary. It's, it's both. It's both, actually, it's, as far as I know. Okay. Mm oh, so just. So it should be both. As, as far as I know, uh, I might be wrong, obviously, but as far as I know, it's it's both that that have that restriction. But I have been I have been specifically told for affiliates, so you might have to look into what that does for uh, partners. Hmm. I guess I didn't get an undersuit. Okay, I did. Perfect. Alright, let me just put on a put on an undersuit real quick. Oh, am I gonna have to like dump clothes? Okay, perfect. Now let me just put on a helmet. Yeah, whatever. Actually, though, let me not. I'm not gonna waste the good helmets on this. Let me just put put on my sub helmet and let's go. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just felt you should you should be warned, uh, but definitely do check on it because I I believe there was a change in terms and conditions since, so it it might not be not might be current anymore. So do look into that. Uh, and let, let's be honest, I, I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Like I, I I don't think I don't think anybody actually checks. I think. Like, let's say, you know, if you were, like, a very famous streamer, someone would probably notice, but... Yeah, us common people, probably not. Like, very unlikely. Alright, let me... Let me put on another medical tool. Just, uh... Just in case I, I uh... Just in case the wind kills me again. And I'm gonna go down there and, uh, get my shit. Because I want my shit. As, as I have established. I, I want my shit. <sighs> Let's stick it tight in my car. That was weird though, the wind didn't used to trash me that much. Did they actually... Oh god, I, I know what they did. Oh, I know what they did. So you know how... When you have a leg injury, wind's gonna knock you over. I, I guarantee you that the force reactions from the wind were not strong enough to do that, even with weakened legs. So CIG made the force reactions of wind much stronger to make that work. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably g exactly what they did. Great. Yeah, let's, let's go get my shit. I, I want my shit. Drop off package. So the package is over there. Let's go get. Let's go get my shit. Hopefully my body is still there. But 
Sergi did say in the last, uh, do the storms actually pass around the planet? So I don't actually know a definitive answer for, for that one. I, I'm gonna have to say I think so, because if you go back like half half a year on my YouTube channel, uh, you will see that I have the full Microtech planet rotation video, and you can actually see the weather going around. So I think they're going around, but at the same time, I have seen locations where I have been multiple times for long amounts of time, and I've not seen clear weather. So right now I'm just going with Eternal Storm everywhere. Because like, come on, why, why would you, why would you possibly need to have clear weather anywhere? Come on, why would you need weather? You don't need nice weather, okay? It's not how this works. But yeah, I would appreciate if CAG kind of curbed the weather a little bit. Obviously, you know. Earth is not a good example for most planets. Like, okay, if you look at Neymar, it's a planet with atmosphere, it's fairly small. I would understand that there is going to be sandstorm fairly frequently. I mean, there are sandstorm on Mars fairly frequently, and I think Mars would be the closest thing to Neymar. But if you look at, like, Hurston, Microtech, Arcorp, these are Earth-like planets. They have been terraformed specifically to support human life. So it just feels very stupid to me that we can terraform planets by essentially controlling weather. That we make planets that have deadly storms constantly. I think that's a bit of an oversight. But if, rather, rather than it being an intention of CIG, I think it's a, it's kind of a consequence of the technology. Like they haven't, they just haven't fixed it yet, basically. I think that's what's going on here. Right, so, I'm gonna go loot my dead body. You know, someone needs to do a... Can you imagine the psychological impact of dying and then coming back and looking at your own dead body? Like, that's gonna fuck a person up. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna incorporate that in the game somehow interesting I think there's gonna be a lot of a lot more lore around regeneration and imprints once once we progress with the game a little bit further all right let me uh, park my ship on a landing pad here and as you can tell it's still pretty fucking windy here Wow uh, uh, what the fuck Excuse me, what the fuck is happening there? <laughs> I lowered my landing gear, right? Alright, let's go. It would be hilarious. It, it, it really depends. I mean, they do have actor status, so it could have an effect on your character. Somehow. Like, oh, you're gonna be like... Blurred vision for X amount of time or something like that. Well, my question is... Where are the other packages? Actually, my first question is, where's my body? Hmm. I think I ended somewhere in these boxes here. Oh, here we go. Hello. That is me. Yes, I would like to... Uh, take the magazines. Actually, what? Equip. 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 I want the armor. That's what I want. Swap. No, can I not equip the armor? What? Okay, fine. I, I guess I'm just gonna drop everything into boxes. I don't need really any anything else out of that. But what I'm gonna do is uh, equip. Yeah, I was gonna put on the my arms armor. What is happening? <laughs> this is uh, interesting. Okay, equip.
Yeah, it's a they. It was a very difficult problem in terms of lore. It was very, very difficult to. It is a very difficult topic to grasp for lore, and I think they handled it very well. Uh, so I think I think it's a very simple problem. I can't equip it. I can grab it. You know, let me. Uh, so are my boxes in my ship still? So yeah, I, yeah. I actually think that I could have done that. Okay, well, those those boxes are fucked. Yeah, I, I think I could have done that. Actually, you're right. So I think if you die in a area that is within the comlink range, then it should be perfectly fine for you to be able to find your body because it's going to be recorded by the comm beacon. Like, oh, this person died here because your suit is going to send that signal. So you're going to be able to find your body unless someone moves it. If you die somewhere that's not in comlink range, that's where the interesting problem happens. I think in that scenario, what you're saying would make more sense. Where you have a tracker on your body and you can find it within X amount of hours, you know. But I, I think that's a conversation that we need to have in, in, in a couple patches. Where it truly matters. Right now, it kind of doesn't really matter. You probably remember where you died anyway. And you can probably find your body. Or you might just not want to go or have your buddies pick up your shit. You know, all of the above. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yes, great. Gotta go for the moment. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, as long as... A lot of things are going to depend on whether you are in the comm range or not. If you are in comm range, everything should just save and work as is. If, if you're not in comm range, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. Well, now let me see if I can somehow board that Reliant. If I can... Uh, I don't know why it turned around. I think it despawned because there was nobody here. So it despawned and it reset into like the default default way. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get, get back in this thing. Maybe if I close the ramp... It's gonna like fall over. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that was uh, a little too hopeful. Oh, is it gonna fall over? Yeah, well, okay, I guess that's not gonna work. So this mission is, is fucked officially. I, I can't complete it because half my boxes are in a, in a ship that's uh, not uh, not available right now. Let me just uh, grab the undersuit out of here. Load it on the Avenger. Yeah, that that will work. With the bear. All right. Yeah, the cockpit isn't accessible anyway. That that's true. Yeah. So the. It's reliant as fucked. Yeah, so I agree that that's a good concept you have that there, Ryan. I don't know if CIG is gonna go that way. I think it's a little too granular for what they're trying to do. Uh, but obviously, I am actually. Okay, so obviously, I, I I'm excited to see what they come up with, whatever it is. Uh, we'll, see. we'll see. We'll have to see. But it would be nice if you could like hack into someone's body location and then steal their stuff. It would be complicated. It would be extremely complicated to do. It, either way you look at it. Now, let's, I think that's... Uh, let's do one more mission here. Let me just... Uh, let me just actually look at how the stream is doing. So th here's actually an interesting thing. Usually when I stream on Twitch, I get a couple dropped, uh, dropped frames. 
Uh, could be fun. It could be fun. Definitely. So I usually get like a couple of drop frames, but right now we're like two hours live on YouTube and no drop frames. And performance has been great. Like my, let me do a touch test. My computer is like not hot. Not like it's not even heating up at all. So I think performance wise, it's much better. How, how is the stream for you? Is there any stuttering? Is the, is the quality good? Like I'm, I'm still really hashing out a lot of technical stuff, but I, but I think it's good. Like for me, streaming on YouTube is, is amazing right now. All right, let's see. No investigation going. Hmm. I could do a retrieval, but I don't feel like retrieving things. I have to fly to Hurl too, which is something that I don't really feel like doing right now. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's go check it out. I uh, I, I am kind of curious about what's happening at Hurl too, because it used to be a very good spot for buying weapons. Also, what the fuck is going on with my mobby glass right now? Are you seeing that? What the fuck? Yeah, you could just scan for it. Could, could be could be interesting. Yeah, there's there's a lots of lots of uh, potential for gameplay. Uh, we'll have to see which way CIG decide to go on this. Uh, but pretty much anything they figure out, I think. Nice. Yeah. Uh, where's my bitch? I think I'm running. Let me double check that because I think I'm running. Uh, I think I'm running. So uh, OBS is showing like four 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 and a half thousand to five thousand, but I think my actual setting is. Uh, let me check on that stream. Five thousand. So my so my output is actually set to five thousand. So it's uh, so it's running well. I could actually I think I could actually like very comfortably put it up to six thousand. But I if the stream looks good, if there is no lags, no hitches, no stuttering or anything, then I, I don't think there is any point in doing that. Like my my network can handle it, uh, but if, if there is no point in doing it, then might as well not. Man, I'm glad it looks great there. I was actually a little worried about the... I was actually very nervous because I haven't streamed in over a month. I just took a break to like focus on getting to 1k on YouTube and... I was like, okay, you know what? Let's, let's go stream on YouTube. Let's let's get that watch time. Let's, let's go stream on YouTube. And I was very nervous when I started, so... Yeah, I, I, I heard that as well. I think uh, because you actually can stream up to 4K on YouTube very easily, so I think 30,000 bits is actually is actually pretty reasonable for that. Uh, I could try it. Like I, I have, uh, yeah, I think I think I have. Uh, I could possibly try it. Yeah, I, uh, you know what? I I have to say I am much happier with streaming on YouTube than I'm on, with streaming on Twitch. It's, uh, oh, is it actually on? Oh, it's gonna be a ground site. It's gonna be fun. So, yeah, I, I gotta say, it's, uh, I feel like it's a better experience for me and for the viewers. Uh, also, generally, kind of two reasons. I didn't want to maintain Twitch as a second platform because it wasn't really going well for me, and discoverability on Twitch is not great, and Twitch has not been, like, performing as much, and I, I'm kind of getting the feeling that if Twitch doesn't turn around in the next year, Amazon is probably gonna axe it, because it's probably not making... It's probably not making enough money to, like, cover the PR shitstorms that are happening with, <laughs> let's be honest. So... Oh, it's actually gonna be an orbital site. It's gonna be an orbital site, isn't it? So I think YouTube's gonna take over fairly soon, and they have been, like, developing new features for YouTube streaming, and it's been working pretty well. And also, you know, if I want to monetize my channel, I, I do need that. Uh, I do need those 4,000 watch hours. It's gonna be much easier to get through streaming and, and all that, you know. So, all right, I guess we're gonna have to fly manually a little bit. Which is fine. We're flying the Avengers, so it should be pretty fast. And, and I'm actually gonna climb a little bit so I can go full speed or as close to full speed as I can. But you know, we've been. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And you know, YouTube has been making a lot of changes, like their discoverability has been much higher, and the shorts, I'm actually really liking the shorts. I kind of took me a while to kind of come around on shorts, but now that I actually made some and I 
poked around in the system. And it's actually pretty good. I hope they push it out to out of beta soon. Because I think it's a pretty good feature. YouTube streams, amazing. The studio looks great. Like it gives me much more information than uh, than Twitch, uh, and it serves much better. Uh, we will see how the after stream stuff goes, uh, where I can edit the video and I can do highlights. And I think I think highlights should be enabled. So if uh, if, if that works, or if, or if if they are not, let me know. I'll, I'll see if I can enable that. <laughs> Like I said, very, very much experimenting. They do need a separate... So, technically there is a separate se section for shorts on mobile. Uh, but I don't... But there is no separate section for shorts on, on website. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, I think they're going to fix it. I think, I think it's something that probably came up. Uh, I think they do need... One thing that I would kind of like to see with shorts is... Uh, that you can actually upload it as a full video where it has a full resolution because when you watch a short on on desktop it looks kind of funny so what i would like them to see is you can upload the 1080p video uh but and it's going to play like a 1080p video but the short is only going to have the part that's in the middle it's going to need more editing like it's going to like put more pressure on the creators to do editing differently but i think it's going to be slightly more seamless also, you know, fucking just or either that or like let me make longer shorts. I know that kind of doesn't, I know it kind of defeats the point, but let you know, let me make 90, 90 second shorts. Because one minute is not enough to cover some things, especially if you're like me trying to do stuff and tutorials. And but overall, you're really liking you know, shorts as as they work as as a content. I'm liking how creation of shorts works. I'm liking streams, I'm liking how streams work on YouTube. I like that I can schedule streams and everybody's gonna see it in their feed that oh, Space Cover is gonna be streaming in you know in a day or two. And I can make thumbnails for my streams, I can it's YouTube winning across the across the board right now. And just generally the watch time for me is gonna be more useful on YouTube than on Twitch, because on Twitch Yes, I, I you know I don't stream and I don't make content for money, I make content because I like making content. It's a hobby for me, but making money on the side from it is great. Now, how much money am I going to make on Twitch? Looking at a year of streaming on Twitch, I have made $300. Which, it's alright. It's fine. Uh, but if you look forward on YouTube, I can make much more money with memberships out of a much bigger channel with memberships and ads and super chats and whatever. So for me it just makes more sense to be on YouTube right now. That was that was kind of a long and very scattered talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that guys, but that's kind of my I was I just kinda of dumped my thoughts on on the content creation state of YouTube versus Twitch. I mean, don't take me wrong, uh, Twitch has some really good stuff going for them. Uh, they have raids, YouTube doesn't. They they got you know, subscriber benefits that are like emotes and stuff. And the subscriber experience on Twitch is, is much better than on than member experience on YouTube. Uh, chat experience on YouTube, it's kind of weird. Uh, I like it. I, I like it, but I have I have heard people say that it's it's kind of underwhelming. Uh, I like it, I think it's okay. Yes. Yes, that, that is very true. Uh, but I mean, that's, that's really with anything on YouTube. So you kind of have to really... Well, you, you're really dependent on your subscribers. On whether they set a reminder, whether they actually come in and watch. And that's all about timing and, and having a community. I have a great community on, on, on YouTube. Very, very proud of everybody. Uh, my timing for my streams kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, it, it does sucks. It does suck. Uh, because it's like 80% of my subscribers on YouTube are in the US. What's that? Is that a freelancer? It's like a freelancer. Are in the US, so they're not gonna. Oh, that's a Starfarer. 
God damn. So they're not gonna be around for me to be streaming at this hour. So I'm kind of losing on streams there, but but it's not not that big of a problem for me. Streams are really because they you know as long as they watch it afterwards, that that accomplishes the goal for me. Like I, you know, I stream because it's fun. I, I enjoy streaming, and I also stream because uh, I need to watch hours. Simple as that. And you know, uh... true. Yes, that that is a good question. And I don't think it's, uh, but I don't think it's a good idea to be making a separate channel to stream, uh, because ultimately, you know, your streams, your live content is gonna convert into, you know, a, a video when you're done, and that's gonna, oh, am I not gonna be able to get through here? And that's gonna show up on your channel, and hopefully, people are gonna watch it. So ultimately, it does just make, it, you know, it just makes more sense to on your main channel at least for me oh there's the door okay gotta find the box there's not gonna be any enemies in here hopefully let's get the box let's get the box and get the fuck out of here so yeah, that, that's kind of what I like on YouTube is that uh, with the streams at least that uh, you know even if people do, are not here to watch it, they might watch it later. That's that's kind of what I'm going for here. We'll see if it happens. If it, it, may, it might not happen, people might not watch it. But you know, I'm still gonna stream because when you think about it, uh, we've had I would say an average of like ten viewers over the over the course of the stream. So the stream is gonna be two and a half hours long. So that's if we have ten people watching, that's twenty five watch hours out of a single stream which is not much but it is about as much it is slightly more than my videos usually have since I make three to five minute videos so I usually don't get a whole lot of watch time out of that so drop off gold and her L2 okay her L2 where's her L2 oh it's actually closer nice where am I based I am based in Czech Republic. Which doesn't actually matter. So it doesn't apparently it doesn't matter in terms of monetization. Uh, because apparently you get monetized based on where your viewers are. And my viewers are mostly in the US, so I'm still gonna be getting the good monetization once I get monetization. Where it does matter is that my streams are generally gonna be happening at like early afternoon for the US folk because I'm simply not awake in the evening in the US. Oh, really? Nice. Huh. Yeah, you, you're generally gonna see me on EU servers. You're gonna see me... I mean, I do play on US servers a, a lot as well with uh, with guys at ADI, uh, but generally if I'm flying solo from streaming, you're gonna be finding me at the EU servers, always. Uh, generally, it's a... Oh, I already sent my ramp. Okay. It's kind of a latency thing for me when I'm doing videos or, or something. Oh, I get, a, I get a direct jump. Nice. I don't know how long it's going to take with the Avenger because I think I have the stock quantum drive, but... Uh... Huh. It has a section for live? Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> well, I'm in quantum. I'm actually going to look at that real quick. Once my phone decides to work. There we go. So I know it has a... I know it has a shorts section. Oh, it does! You're right. It has a shorts and then it has a... Then it has a live. That's that's cool. Cool. Alright. Yeah, so... Uh, I think eventually... So streaming on YouTube is kind of in, in very early stages right now. Still, even though it's been over a year. I think that, that you can stream on YouTube. Uh, but they're still kind of figuring out a lot of things now that they're especially now that they have a lot of people coming over from Twitch and these people are bringing in all these feature requests and all these requirements for them so uh, so I think we're gonna see a live section on desktop right now it doesn't really matter huh. 
all variants of it. Might mean they're switching it back to time limited. Huh, interesting. Thank you for pointing that out, Theus. So yeah, so there's a lot of people coming over from Twitch and they're having all these requests on what, what it should do. So I think we're going to see a live section on, on YouTube. It's, it's not a critical requirement right now when you think about it, because uh, if you are subscribed to someone on YouTube, you're going to see their stream on your feed. So that kind of subscriber discoverability is there. What comes next is non-subscriber discoverability. So you want people outside of, of your channel to discover you, which YouTube does actually suggest, at least me, I don't know if, if you guys have ever seen it, but YouTube does suggest live streams for me. Once in a while I see, oh, suggested videos, live stream. So it, it does work to an extent. Oh yeah, speaking of a bit of a side note, I, for those of you who didn't catch it, I, I pushed a small fix to the armory. The Pembroke and Navico armors are going to work correctly now. They counted as undersuits, but they should be really counting as uh, full armors. It was a tiny bug that I fixed, so you know, go check out the armor. It's it's great. Uh, yeah. You know, actually, kind of a, on the note of the armory, I never actually expected the armory to blow up this much. <laughs> like this random tool that I made, and suddenly, you know, everybody's using it, or not everybody, but a lot of people are using it, at least according to my stats. So, and I'm very happy. I'm I'm glad people are enjoying it. I'm glad people are finding it useful. Let's go, let's go land, let's go deliver this box of gold. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Let's, go let's see what happens. The station looks nice. I don't think I've been at the Herald 2 in a while, so... I should probably sub so I can get the fancy Pembroke armor. I think I'm gonna do that after a stream. Gotta, gotta milk my bank account a little bit more. So we are, uh, we're here. I actually really like what they did with the rest stops with the gas clouds and the light and everything. It's, it's beautiful. Proximity alert. Drop off gold. Yes, I will. Proximity alert. Everest is placed under quarantine because of the bugs. What bugs? Everest was fine. box so so since I have a lot of people here uh, what are your guys' started look starting locations going to be right since since when it is cold in space okay well, so what are your guys' uh, starting locations gonna be in 315 I'm picking I'm, I'm collecting opinions to, to see where I want to go uh, you know uh, when uh, when it's ready, um, because right now I'm kind of deciding between Lorville and New Babbage, unless they fix the vehicle bug, and if they fix the vehicle bug, I'm probably gonna try and. Uh... Why am I freezing? If they fix the vehicle bug. I'm probably gonna go with Area 18, just because they have all the shit, all the all the stores. My well, thank you, thank you, Ray. I am. Uh... I still have an accent, which... <laughs> I still have an accent, you can still hear where I'm from. Uh, I still have an accent, which... People say they can't hear it, but I can hear it and it's pissing me off, but thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, your primary residence is always gonna have to be a planet. But I'm, but I'm really thinking Arcorp because it has all the stores, so... The impel and ship, and ship vehicle spawning. Yeah, I I am very much waiting for spawning vehicles inside ships. Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna stay on the... Hopefully it's gonna stay, stay on schedule. Now you see. Right, people love accents, but people only truly love the, you know, British accent and the Australian accent, you know, the, the nice accents. People don't like the the proper Czech accent, a proper Slovak accent, but I don't have either of those. <laughs> I kind of have like a generic Slavic accent, I've been told. Well, let's, let's go drop off this stuff. There should be, last time I checked there was a, there was a weapon store. On, oh yeah, there it is. Well, let's, we're gonna go check out, uh, see what weapons are there. 
We should have a slightly different uh, selection than uh, Pearl 4. But it looks like all the her stations have armor stores for some reason. Alright, let's see if the mission succeeds because I think it uh, failed uh, at the beginning of the stream. <sighs> Why am I dying? So, so that makes like th third or fourth time I almost died on the stream from random stuff. Okay, objective complete, deliver the package. So contract complete, retrieval needed. So that should raise my reputation if I'm not mistaken. Right bracket, dismiss. Okay, so that succeeded completely. So by definition, I should have a reputation with someone. It's probably not either of these guys. Unified distribution, run, no, no, nobody, okay. I guess they don't like me that much. All right, let's go check out this uh, this weapon store down here. See, see what they got. See, see if they have anything anything fun. Looks like it's gonna be, uh, ooh. Okay, so they got the, uh, Hi, welcome to the store. sand. Oh, they actually have the midnight gland rifle, nice. Let me, let me just pick that up real quick. These things are hard to find. Good purchase. They look great. What else they got? Yeah, it looks like this is it for the selection. Not bad, not bad. From a station store. They have actually significantly reduced the inventories on station stores. So you really kind of find, you know, not, you know, common stuff. Looks, looks like it's the same as this, the other store. They got the distortion repairs. They got a chunky gun in here. Not bad, not bad. Some neutron guns. I'm not actually gonna buy any weapons because the you can't actually transfer those now. You actually have to like load them on a ship and uh, fly them somewhere. All right, let's go back to Evers. Let's transfer the gun that I just bought to Evers. Actually, all the stuff that I have uh, on the ship, let's transfer that to Evers so that it's it's there. I don't have to worry about it. Which pad am I on? I am on pad. Where's the fucking pip? Pad two. There we go. Hopefully he's not gonna store my ship before I get there. But I, I was I was fast this time, so should be fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you've ever heard like the proper Czech accent. Like you, you would not like the proper chick accent. Nobody likes it. But yeah, so New Babbage is good because it does have like vehicles, but it doesn't really have any other stores. Like that that's it. It does have components. So if you need to buy components, you probably want to go to New Babbage, but the selection is much smaller than what it used to be. So it's not not as good. Like Omega Omega Pro got very, very much ooh, my box is disappeared. Okay. Omega Pro got very, very much, you know, slimmed down in their stock. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, I think Arkur is probably the best place to start because you can actually, like, get a full set of armor there. Like, in one color, because I think most other places don't actually have the whole armor set in, uh, on the ground. Like, Lorville doesn't have a whole set of one color, I think. It probably does. It might have with them. I guess I'm gonna have to manually navigate, uh, which I hate, but it's fine. Anyway, let's get back to Evers. Well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Ansgar, I know. I, I know I want shorts to be videos. So I, I want YouTube videos with the discoverability and the binge worthiness of, of shorts. That's, that's what I want. But I'm, I'm happy with shorts as they are. I just wish they weren't so... Uh, so strict about... How long it can be. Like, if I... Like, let me overshoot by five seconds. Let's 
a shame because it's good stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's my only thing against Orson is that they have a good selection of armor, they have a good selection of components, uh, they they have some weapons. There's a you can buy some weapons in, in Orson, uh, but the quantum ceiling is too high, and, and the vehicles don't work. Uh. I, I do wonder if people are gonna go like hardcore sca scavenger mode. It, someone's probably gonna gonna go. Someone, someone's probably gonna do that. <laughs> like, someone is probably gonna try. I I have zero doubts about that. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to quantum to Lorville, and from Lorville I'm gonna quantum to Evers. Because the because CIG after three patches still haven't fixed the OMs. Well, they have. So, so they attempted the fix on the web. So right now, if you're trying to jump from... There are blind spots on the planet. So if you're trying to jump from a point A to point B that's on the other side of the planet, it's not going to work because there are no OMs that you can see. They tried to fix it by moving the OMs further out of the planet. What happened is that you couldn't see the outposts from the OMs. So they're going to have to do a more complicated fix, but uh, it's probably going to take them a while and... <laughs> you know, yeah, it's gonna be a mess. So, yeah, TAG, please fix this. D do something about it. It's 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 annoying. Generally, I think uh, quantum navigation needs uh, needs a lot of improvement. And CIG has been kind of slacking and ignoring it for for the longest time now. Can I uh, quantum out of here? I should be able to quantum out of here. Okay, now I gotta find Evers. Where is Evers? Somewhere. Should be seeing it, no problem. There it is. Alright. Let's go to Evers. I think I might need to heal myself up a little bit further, but it's fine. Alright, let's go. Let's go and let's get landed. Alright. Yeah, I think that I think that was pretty good. Yeah, I think three fifteen is going to be a very interesting change to the game. I think we're going to see a lot of people changing how they play the game, changing how they fly, changing how they, what gear they use, changing what their what missions they do. Uh, combat is is going to be much much more deadly because you actually I think you're going to see a lot of people trying to group up and be like okay. You know what? I'm gonna go down there and fight. If, if I if I if I get downed, you can pick me up. That you know, so people are gonna be playing a lot more with other people. Is what I think. I'm gonna be playing with a lot of people because I'm gonna be dying constantly. So I'm gonna have someone with a with a med gun just trained on me constantly. And that's gonna be especially the case until they sort out a lot of the bugs. And once they do, I think it's gonna be good. I think we're gonna be fine. We're ready to go. Side landing bay. Where's my side landing bay? There's my side landing bay. There's my side landing bay. Nice. So I actually, so I, a couple times that I've been landing uh, on stations, I've, I got scanned. Uh, Looks like I'm not gonna get scanned by security this time. Alright. Anyways, that that uh, puts us at Everest Harbor. And with that being said, uh, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. For the first stream on YouTube, because I am I'm running out of energy and I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so, so hey, I'm gonna go eat. Uh, so with that being said, that that's gonna be it for tonight. Unfortunately, we can't raid anyone because YouTube doesn't do raids, but uh, go find someone else to watch, or if you if you want to help the channel, go watch. Look guys, if you want to help the channel right now, go watch all my videos from the last six months. <laughs> that's, that's what I need you to do right now, to, to get that, those watch hours. With that being said, that's it for tonight. Thank you all for watching, thank you all for the kind messages, and thank you for keeping, keeping me company. Uh, I'm not going to stream on Thursday, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to, be able to juggle two streams a week, unfortunately. So I think we're going to see each other on YouTube, live, next Tuesday. Thank you all, fly safe. 
take some pictures and uh, I'll see you in the verse. Good night.